Can you see him? Look how comfortable he is in the car, driving. Look at him. Nova, look at you, boy. Nova, we're in the mountains, bro. We're gonna go through the canyon. You sure you wanna be like that? You sure? All right, let's see how long this lasts. <clears throat> let's take a look. All right, here we go. Up the canyon we go. We do a small, nice, easy little S turn. Whoa. Okay, what are you thinking about that now, Nova? Okay, you know, brace yourself with your paws. There you go, brace yourself. Here we go. Whoa, oh, oh, easy, Tiger. Nova, what are you doing? You are silly. You're silly. You're straight silly. Nova, hey. Are you, you're comfy, huh? All right, so I've created a spot for him right back there. Okay, that's his carrying, his, his carrier. I've got it bungeed in, so it's a real comfortable spot for him, but he seems to be pretty cozy right here too. What do you think? Hey, Nova. <laughs> He's ignoring me. Nova? Oh, see that? See, when he saw that I was talking to you, he, he opened his eyes. He didn't, oh my goodness. Nova. There's just no debate, man. He's the, whoa, we got snow over there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it over there, that little cap there, but there's a lot of snow in the Four Peaks. Pretty cool. Anyway, hey guys. So, uh, uh, earlier this morning, I, uh, I smoked a whole joint to my face. <laughs> I never do that. Never, ever. And, um, it was pretty cool. It was all right. But anyways, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm heading into town. Not town. I'm not worthy of town. So if you're ever up here, anybody who's watching this, if you're, if you're already at Tortilla Flats and you want to have the ability to open your apps on your phone, most people have the ability to make phone calls out there. You can text, but you can't text pictures or anything like that. But if you want to have access to uh, LTE, I guess is what it is that allows me to uh, text SMS or pictures and get on Facebook or go to YouTube and upload a video or whatever. Um, on Highway 88, it's kind of strange how I'm going to describe this to you, but you just got to trust me. This is how it is. If you're coming out to Tortilla Flats, it would be one-tenth of a mile past 205, mile marker 205. It'll be on your left-hand side. It's a small turnout that holds two vehicles. Now, if you're already at, this is where it gets weird. Now, if you're already at Tortilla Flats and you're, and you're heading out towards into uh, Apache Junction, well, then it's gonna be seven, this is weird, bro. I swear to God, this is weird. It's gonna be seven tenths of a mile past mile marker 206. And of course, it'll be on your right-hand side now. So, odd but it is what it is just how it is i didn't do it i just observed it so here we are cruising and it's a great spot i'm telling you it saves you it saves you some gas it, it, it saves you some gas i'm telling you it'll save you for me a gallon it saves me a gallon of gas 
That way I don't have to go all the way into town to do something like that. So that's what, $3.50 right now? To me, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Just saying. So, um, it's freaking cold out here, you guys. We've gotten snow up in the mountains the last three days in a row. It's pretty cool. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> uh, been having a ball. Didn't sleep all that great last night. Little uh, excessive acid reflux. Dealt with it. We're good now. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Oh my God! Look at this cat. He's still just. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm in a, I'm in a curvy road. Where are you at? Can we see him? Is that you right there, Nova? You're covering up your nose now. Uh huh. Okay. So. Just checking in, saying, hey, letting everybody know what's up, doing good, but it's fucking cold. <laughs> oh my goodness. So tomorrow, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give you a heads up for what's coming. Tomorrow I pick up Uncle Kyle. For those of you who don't know, Uncle Kyle is um, somebody that Marisa and I met when, Trin when Marisa was pregnant with Trinity. Excuse me, my lips are super chapped. Um, <clears throat> I found I found him to be uh, receptive to discovering uh, a way to relate to life that allowed him to have more fun, more enjoyment. And it seems to be that whatever I was talking about with him at the time provided that for him. He enjoyed our, I, he enjoyed my time as much as I enjoyed his. It was really great. He was actually the first person to see Trinity alive aside from myself, Marisa, and the medical staff. He waited and waited. Um, he's been a friend to us for uh, ever since uh, then. I think we met him when he was 18. He's now 32 or 33. I don't know. Something like that. Well, 15. Yeah, anyway, whatever. We'll do the math later. <laughs> too tired. Uh, so I pick him up, you know. Um, I ended up buying a 400-pound capacity inflatable kayak which I, as it turns out it's like the second best rated inflatable kayak out there i'm not sure what walmart was doing for sure but they they had it for 97 dollars, and so um i couldn't pass it up okay i couldn't so i've strapped myself totally i have like nine dollars until tomorrow um i'm not asking for money please that's not what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, just saying what, what's going on. <laughs> I could have passed it up. They're like 400 bucks normally. Shit, man. It's a two-seater, but it's going to be a one-seater because I'm a big boy. <laughs> so it's going to be my kayak. Kaya, Kyle, Uncle Kyle, has his dad has a, 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 a fiberglass kayak. Plastic, I mean. So he's going to bring that. I'm going to go pick him up. He's going to bring his kayak. And he's going to spend a couple days out at the campsite. We're going to hike. Um, we're gonna, you know, kayak because the weather is. Look at this. I don't know if you can see the snow, but look, look, look between there. It's amazing. Lots of it. I mean, it's chilly, you guys, and and wet. <laughs> so cool in the desert. So awesome. Anyway, uh, so that's what's coming. Looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I do know that things could change, so I'm not ex <clears throat> not expecting it until it happens, but something I am looking forward to. We will have a great time. I'm gonna document it. I've been trying to get in shape, better shape. I mean, I'm, 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 in, pretty, I'm in pretty lousy shape. I'm, I'm, I, I need two new knees. For those of you who don't know, I need two new knees. <laughs> and um, when I was 38 years old, I, destroyed my L3, L4, L5, and S1 all at the same time, and 
the number one neurologist in Colorado, um, he just doesn't feel that, uh, he feels that I, I could be uh, completely uh, in, in a wheelchair if, 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 the, if he tried to do surgery. So I just deal with the pain constantly. It's been a long time, I'm 52, so I've been uh, managing this pain for quite some time. <laughs> You get pretty good at managing pain over the time over the course of time but anyway so you know I've been trying to like uh, walk a little bit more you know get my knees have been really really sore you know just so it's just so Uncle Kyle's not bored <laughs> we'll see there's uh there's some really cool uh, nature walks out here not hiking trails but nature walks I can do those so yeah we'll do that um, <clears throat> I'm gonna fish from the kayaks I've never done that before. I'm super excited. <laughs> All right. Uh, talk to y'all later.